In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the development IDE, the Integrated Development Environment. This is where you're going to be writing your program, you're going to be building your program, and flashing the program to the microcontroller. All an IDE, an Integrated Development Environment, is, is a way to write your program, which is just a an editor that provides some convenient color coding and some provide some IntelliSense, which means that when you start typing, it'll show you a list of possible options that you can use to complete your typing. An IDE will also connect to the compiler, so it'll take the code and it will convert the code into a hex file or to a file that is readable by the microcontroller. And the other main feature of an IDE is to be able to flash that compiled code to the microcontroller and it would need to connect to some sort of program that's able to do that. So first we're going to set up the IDE, then we're going to set up the or install the compiler and finally we'll install the program that will allow you to flash the microcontroller. There are many other features of this IDE or of IDEs in general. Um, you can also debug, you can look at all the files in your in your folder and the hierarchies of all these files debugging the code even while the code is being run in the microcontroller and various other features. I decided to use the co-IDE by KuCox. KuCox is one of the main IDEs for ARM architecture and it's free. It is an open environment and it's based on an IDE called Eclipse. Other IDEs can be seen in the list of ARM Cortex-M development tools in Wikipedia and you'll notice that the co-IDE by KuCox is, is here but a lot of these um, rather expensive. So by using this develop development environment, you can connect it to the GCC compiler, which is also a open source compiler. So you'll be able to write your programs without needing to pay for the programming environment. So let's get started. To install the KuCox integrated development environment, go to www.cococox.org forward slash software.html and you'll have a download link right here. You'll need to register before you download. And the download should start automatically. Open up the download. And it's going to ask you to press the next as long as you are OK with the terms of use. So press the next. This will produce a, an icon in your folder and your desktop. And we'll go ahead and launch it after it finishes. To be able to compile the code that is developed in the KuCox IDE, you'll need to go to https launchpad.net gcc arm embedded for plus download and you'll have a list of an executable or zip files to download for the Windows and then you have the Linux um, tar files that you can download and this will install the tools that you need to compile the code that's created. I'm going to select the, the exe file, Let's run the run the file. Click yes. Next, agree the terms. Agree to the license agreement. Accept the location that it will be put on the hard drive. And make sure you, the, you add the path so the tools will be accessed in any location on the hard drive or on the computer under any folders on the hard drive. Click finish. And this is a readme file on the usage of the tools and also on specific Linux and Windows command lines. So you can look at this readme by just getting this particular file and looking at it using notepad to, to open the file. After the GCC tool, tools were installed, you'll need to inform the co-ID where that information is located. So open up the co-ID and then go to project, select tool chain path, and I've already done it here, but you, you would use browse, go to where it's located, where it was installed, and select the version number folder. It'll automatically put the bin in and press OK. OK, so far we've installed the co-IDE and the GCC compiler. The only thing left to install now is our programmer driver and making sure that the programmer is able to flash the microcontroller. We will do that in the next video. Thank you for watching.